wrestling is not always as it appears on the surface. At its best, the scripted nature of matches can blur the lines between reality and performance. However, a notable incident occurred in 1991 when Earthquake John Tenter and Koji Kitao faced off and the outcome was very real, exposing the business and making headlines in Japan. The clash between the two former sumo wrestlers took place at WrestleFest, a co-promoted event between Super World of Sports, SWS, and the then WWF, held at the Tokyo Dome on March 30th, 1991. Kitao, known for his bad boy image, turned to pro wrestling after a controversial period in sumo and a fallout with the association. In New Japan Pro Wrestling, the previous wrestling organization Kitao worked for, he had been fired for disrespectful conduct and racism towards another wrestler. During their first match at WrestleFest, tensions flared, creating heat with the crowd, but it wasn't a technically impressive bout. The real trouble occurred in their rematch at WrestleDream in World Hall, Kobe, Japan, on April 1st. Initially, the rematch seemed typical, with both wrestlers engaging in a realistic Puroresu-style match. However, it quickly escalated when Tenta maintained a tight grip on Kitao during a waistlock, and Kitao struggled to escape using brute strength instead of technique. The match turned into a shoot, with both wrestlers engaging in real and dangerous actions. Kitao attempted to target Tenta's eyes, and Tenta responded with his own threats. The situation intensified, leading to the referee trying to intervene, but the match eventually ended in disqualification with Kitao attacking the referee. Afterward, Kitao publicly proclaimed wrestling as fake and boasted about his abilities in a real fight. However, this claim was proven false, as Tenta, a veteran of the wrestling world, managed to handle the situation and avoid serious injury. The aftermath saw conflicting opinions about the incident. Some believe Kitao was unwilling to work with Tenta, while others saw Kitao's attitude and behaviour as the root cause of the issue. Eventually, Tenta and Kitao reconciled their differences, and they had a third match five years later, which went more smoothly. The SWS promotion, where the incident occurred, folded in 1992, and many of its stars went on to form their own promotions. In the end, Koji Kitao continued his wrestling career in various Japanese promotions, and despite a brief stint in MMA, he returned to teaching sumo. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2019 from chronic renal failure at the age of 55. John Tenta passed away in 2006 after a bout with bladder cancer. Thanks for watching this video. Click on one of the other videos you see on screen now. Maybe Joe isn't being a lazy ass and is actually appearing in that one. Take care and rumble on.